Alexander, you said there's an arrest warrant for my arrest? That's correct. You heard me correct. Right. After keeping me waiting, okay, for that long, I get a call back from this number here. Okay, 078, where's it gone? 59190794 from HMRC. Let's go. Hello? Yeah, hello. Hi there. Yes, this is John. Sorry about that. I had to take another call. Okay, not a problem. Now, John, you were speaking to one of my, uh, like, one of your case officer, Mary Gomes, you remember? Mary Gold, did you say? Yeah, that's correct. Mary Gomes. Yeah, I didn't get her name. What's her name? Mary Gold? No, G O M E S Gomes. Mary Gomes. Mary Gomes. Okay, yeah. Okay. How can I. Uh, what? No, you were speak yes, no, what you were seems to be the to problem? She was yes. explaining, like. Sorry? What seems to be the problem? Uh, I had a phone call on my landline. It, it, he said something about HMRC. Okay. Okay, so, so the, like, what uh, happened? When, Okay, so can you just help me out with your postcode on your house number so that I can look into the Inland Revenue Database that why did you receive that phone call? Like, what's your postcode? Bravo 44. Four. Bravo 44. Four. 7 Alpha Romeo. 7 Alpha Romeo. So, and your house number? Do you have a house number, a flat number? Yeah, flat 80. 80. 80, yeah. Now, are you sure your postcode is B for Bravo 447 Alpha Romeo? Yes, correct. Because there is no house number, uh, there is no house number with the number 80. It's just number 8. No, well, it comes under number 8, but it's flat number 80. Hold on, hold on, just to be sure, okay? What's, the, your, what's your full address? It's 8 Lancaster Street. Birmingham. Okay, now that's a problem because I'm getting an Archery Road, London. I'm getting a different postcode with your same, uh, with a different. Postcode. Sorry, okay. so let me let me now, repeat. Let me repeat the postcode. Bravo four seven Alpha Romeo. Bravo four seven, seven Alpha Romeo. Okay, so you get. Okay, I got it. And your house number, you say it's number 8, right? Correct. 80, sorry, my bad. 80, yeah. It's 80 Lancaster Street, Birmingham, right? Correct. Okay. Now just stay on the line for a moment. Let me look at the Inland Revenue Database that why did you receive this call. The line okay. will go blind, do not disconnect, okay? Okay, and who am I speaking to? At this point of time, you're speaking to your officer, Alexander Davidson. Alexander Davidson. That's correct. Okay, and what is it? That, that, and you, you are a HMRC officer or a police officer? No, you're speaking to an officer from the legal department of HMRC. I'm not a policeman, but I work for the legal department of HMRC. Oh, so okay. I'm also called as officer. I thought I was going to get arrested, you see. So, it, okay, okay, so you still call no, an officer. Obviously I, uh, obviously, I see that there is an arrest warrant out that you named to arrest you. That is the reason today you have received this phone call today. Now, I'll just to go ahead and give you a brief explanation. This, this, like, hold on, hold on, this? hold on. Alexander, you said there's an arrest warrant for my arrest? That's correct. You heard me correct. Are you being serious? Yes, I am. My goodness me, why? What, what, what have I done? Now, just to go ahead and give you that information, I need to open up your case file. Now, your case file contains your password, and the password is a date of birth. So, like, what's your date of birth? My date of birth is 9th of the 9th. Mm-hmm. 82. 1982. Correct. Right. Okay. Now, just hold the line for a moment. Let me go through the Inland Revenue Database and check, like, why did you receive this phone call, okay? The line will go blank and not disconnect. Okay. Okay, I'm not going to disconnect, don't worry. That's great. Just put it on mute, right? So, so far, we've got Alexander Davidson. He's a 
officer at HMRC who said I've got an arrest warrant under my name okay so if you understand right they're trying to they're trying to scare the living daylights out of you that's what they're trying to do by saying that you've got a restaurant under your name and you've done this and done that so this is going to be interesting when he comes back because i just gave him somebody else's date of birth which is supposed to be the password on my account which is supposed to be my date of birth i gave him a dodgy address i've, I've called myself john the man right this is ridiculous i'm blagging the blagger here okay but this is very very important that we understand this that how these people operate don't just disconnect okay we need to catch these people out uh, hello hello there now uh can i ask you like one thing like while you like why i kept you on hold you muted your phone right was that correct sorry you muted your phone like you kept your phone on mute right yes yes i was speaking to my wife Oh, you're speaking to wife, okay? Now, I would like to inform you one thing, as you're on a recorded line, you're speaking to anyone or anyone speaking to you after the recording, so do not do that, okay? And don't keep this, don't put the call on a mute, okay? You have to stay on the recorded line, okay? No, no, I was speaking to my wife. I was explaining she was very worried about the whole, uh, that you no. said about the police and about the arrest warrant, so I, I was telling that. her what's going on. I understand that. I'm, 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 I'm having, I'm having, to to I'm having a private conversation with my wife. Quite surely you don't need to hear this, do you? Obviously, I don't want to. That, that's, that's the reason why I put you on mute. Okay, now I need, I, I, like I, I because I, you're in a recorded line. Uh, okay, I understand your concern. You're really concerned with your personal conversation with your wife, and I really appreciate it. And okay but you're on a recorded line so you can do the talking once you get done okay yes but she's she's in tears my wife is in tears she's crying the, 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 because okay, the, you are saying um, about this arrest warrant uh -huh. but you you said to me that you are not the police right so i'm not the police but i'm here to explain you about the arrest warrant that's what i'm here for Right, okay, how do I I'm get... Gonna uh, the police is going to arrest you. I'm just here to go ahead and show you the information, like why there is an arrest warrant under your name and what is the reason behind that. Okay, and okay. can I can I not pay you money to get out of this arrest warrant? Unfortunately, that's not happening at this point of time, not over the phone at least. Oh my God. Okay, give me one second. Let me calm my wife down. Please calm down. She's a she's little bit calmer now. But she keeps on crying because obviously we'd, we'd have never been in trouble by the police before. Hello? No, uh, can you just tell me one thing, uh, John? Are you serious about this legal matter because you don't sound... Sorry? Are you serious? Like, are you really serious about this legal matter because you don't sound that you're serious about this? Of course I am serious. How do you want okay. me to? Be, how do you want me to be more serious? You want me to start crying also? No, I don't want that happening over the phone. Please, I don't want that. Then, okay. uh, you, you, are you are telling. Can I hand a piece of paper? Okay, 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 okay. Can I hand a pen and piece of paper and a pen and paper? Sorry, do you want me to a pen and paper? That's correct. Okay, hold on, one second. Can you give me that from there, please? Okay, yeah, go for it. Pen and paper ready, yeah. Okay. Now, to start with, first of all, write down the name of your case officer. Okay, yeah. It's Mary Gobes, M-A-R-Y-G-O-M-E-S. Yeah. Sorry, so, so, can you spell the and surname again for me? It's G-O-M-E-S, Gomes. Gomes, yeah, Gomes, okay, yeah. And write down, the, uh, write down her badge ID. The badge ID, okay. This is the badge she has on her on her uniform. Oh uh, yes, yes, that's correct. Okay. It's yeah. H M. H M. Eight two. Eight two. Five nine six one. Five nine six one, right? Mhm. Mm okay. Cool. Okay, and write down, uh, write down your case number. Just one second. Case number, yeah. It's K for Kilo. 
Yeah. 901. 901, yeah. Can you speak? Can you speak? Can, can you please speak a little bit slowly and clearly because I can't understand you. You don't understand me? No, no, there's a lot of echo in the in the actual telephone conversation. I'm sorry, I'm not understanding what you're trying to say. There's a lot of echo, there's a lot of background noise. Background noise. I do apologize for the background noise. Those are the legal officers having a conversation with the taxpayers like me and you. Ah, okay. So. It sounds like you're in a farm. Okay, yeah, go for it, yeah. Sorry? I, I said it sounds like you're very, very far. Okay. Now, before we move ahead to your case, sir, I would like to make three things very clear. Okay. Number one. This call has been monitored and recorded by HMRC Inland Revenue and the courthouse. Number and, two, anything you say, yeah, yeah, uh, anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be appointed for you. Okay, hold on, hold, three, hold on, hold on, Alexander, Alexander, am I being arrested? If you interrupt me and if you do not cooperate me, if you do not cooperate with Tisha Marcy, you are going to get arrested now. What the hell, man? This is, this is, okay, all right, I'm listening. That's right. Now, anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. Uh -huh. You have the right to an attorney. Okay. If you cannot afford one. One will be appointed for you. Exactly. Yeah. Do okay. not exist anymore. Then your passport, national insurance number, public service card, and driving license will be cancelled or ceased. Um, I'm the all the steps in HMRC will mark all in on your asset, including your house and car, which means if you fail to pay on time, then huge penalty up to forty-six thousand pounds can be imposed on you. Mm -hmm. Now to recover the money, HMRC will auction and sell your house, car, and all your assets, leaving you with nothing. You may also get a prison time of a up to a seven year in a decent. Now I have explained what the allegation have been imposed on you by HMRC and what HMRC is willing to do to recover the outstanding amount from you. Now after your prosecution, HMRC tax evasion penalty will be imposed on you, which can be up to 46,000 pounds or up to seven year in prison. So there are two things which can be done now. Number one, you can choose to resolve the matter out of the court by visiting the tax office today itself. If you visit the tax office within the nature of you will withdraw the case and allow you to make the payment without tracking this matter further to the court. Or HRC has to send the police to arrest you and take you in custody for at least a seven minutes for at least uh, 72 hours. Now the choice is totally up to you what you want to do. You want to go ahead and resolve the matter out of the court by visiting the tax office today itself or do you want to go ahead and get yourself arrested? Uh, what do you want to do? I don't, okay. want, I don't want to get arrested. I, I keep on telling you I don't want to get arrested, Alexander. You're not listening to me. Mm -hmm. I've, the, the, my wife is here in tears, okay? I've had enough now because the, I don't want to get arrested. I haven't done anything wrong. If they have made a miscalculation of taxes, that's not my fault. Okay, I am willing to pay this money. Now, the main concern is uh, how do I how do I how do I make the payment? How do I how do I make the payment? How do I make the payment? Because you're not letting me talk, right? How do I how do I go ahead and make this payment? Now, to do that, you have to physically visit a tax office. I have to go to a tax office. Correct. It's COVID-19, there's no tax offices open. How do you feel sure about it? Hold on, write down the amount that you owe to each party. Sorry? It's 987 pounds and 26 987.26. Not so, as this is a recorded line, I need a verdict over a recorded line. So what is this, like some sort of contract? Ah, okay. So, uh, the, uh, the I, John the man, owe seven hundred. Sorry, nine hundred eighty-seven pound twenty-six pence to HMRC. Happy? Uh huh. No, I need a word. But yes, I am willing to visit the tax office. That's what I want to hear over the recorded line. Uh, you want me to say I want? I'm willing to go to the office. Mm, that's what I want to hear, right? I'm willing to go to the office if that helps you. He's gone to get.
permission or something from his seniors okay to give me the address for the tax office this is a new one right i've seen all sorts of google play cards debit card payments credit card payments paypal this is a new one they want you to physically go somewhere and go and pay this amount of money 987.26 this is going to be interesting let's check this out wait for this joker calling himself alexander the great to come back and speak to me phoning me off a mobile number hmrc Times must be bad. Hello, Mr. Matt, you there? Yes. Uh, thank you for being on the line. I just got an approval from my senior department, okay? Now, first of all, as I already told that you will have to visit the tax office, so I will locate the nearest tax office for you. You need to get a bond, B-O-N-D, bond. A bond? After visit, that's correct, a bond, after visiting the tax office. Now, this bond is like an agreement between you and the court. So once you physically visit the tax office, get the bond, they will then make an appeal to the court and get their computer. They will transfer your money to the bond or the payment card, and they will hand over the card to you. Now, your money will be inside the card for your safekeeping and security deposit by you. Now, you will have to keep the card containing the money with you safely because if you lose the card, then your money will be lost forever. You're going to go to the office, uh -huh. give them 987 pounds and 26 pence. They're going to put that money, they're going to convert that money into the bonds and they will hand over the bond card to you. Okay. Understood. Okay. Understood. Yeah. You have to make the payment to us. Just understand one thing. You are not paying any money to us over the phone. You just have to go to the tax office, get this phone card and load it with nine hundred eighty-seven pound and twenty-six pence, and then wait for the taxman to come to your house and do the needful. Okay. Do you understood. understand that? Yeah. Understood. Yep. <laughs> okay. So if you can mute, put me on mute, and then you can talk to your wife. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. I do appreciate this. My call was gonna. Ask him if I want to talk to my wife. I'm talking to you guys. <clears throat> now, from what I've understood, right, he's trying to make this as complicated as possible so he looks official. Okay, I've got to take 987 quid, 26 pence, to a tax office. This will be interesting because it gives us a physical place. He reckons that there's going to be one local. I, I think he might just change his tune here. Okay, because I can't see them having a guy sitting at an office willing to take this money and then game done for fraud because physically you got someone that you can send the police to. So let's see what he says. He's trying to physically find me an office close enough to my crap postcode and address God knows who to who that belongs to. And he's gonna give me the most local office. What a boring sod. He's giving me all this spiel. He's giving me all of this, right? It sounds like, you know, with the bonds and this, that, the other. He's talking to somebody in America because bonds and things like that don't exist in the United Kingdom. You know, he's not done his homework very well. So let's see what Mr. Michael, uh, sorry, Alexander Davidson the Great comes back with. And by the way. Uh, thank you for being on the line, John, you there? Yes, sorry, yes. Okay, not a problem. Now, uh, John, I just, uh, no, I just had a word with my senior department. Now, uh, I, I tried to locate the nearest tax office. Now, the Lear's office that I could locate at, it's at the place Staff Road. Are you aware of the place Staff Road? Sorry? The Lear's tax office is where? At Stafford. Stafford? Mm hmm Okay, yeah, I know where Stafford is, yes. So what, what do I do? I need to take the money, go and give it to them, and they will give me the card? That's correct. Okay. One of my questions. Is it possible for you to go there and come back within an hour? That's what my question is. Yes, it's, it's maybe maybe 20 minutes away from here, so I can be back in 50 minutes. <laughs> Are you serious? You're saying that the tax office that, you talk, that I'm talking about is 20 minutes away far from your house? Yes. Now, I guess my, uh, I guess my system is... Go, uh, it's not working properly. Uh, I don't know it's your phone or anything that's not pro working properly because I see it's 54 minutes away from your house. 54 uh, minutes? Uh, point four, yeah, it's 38.4 miles away from your house. Yeah, th that, that will only take 20 minutes on the motorway. Are you sure about it? Yes, I am sure. If I have to get this done, I have to get this done. Do you understand that if you cannot come back within an hour, you're directly going to change? 
Could I have any further notice? If I can't get back in an hour, I go directly to jail? That's correct. You will be directly arrested so, from here. Your... Hi. Uh, John, I just had a word with my senior department and the gold house, okay? And I, got, I tried to get an approval for them so that you visit the tax office. Okay, now, as I already said you before, the citizens are not allowed to travel more than 10 miles because of the coronavirus pandemic. So, unfortunately, your approval link was denied because you cannot travel that much. It's around 30 miles from your house and okay. you're not allowed to travel more than 10 miles. Okay. And I really want to go to Stafford. So I have to see if I can get an alternative way for you so that you can go ahead and settle the matter in local areas, like near to your house, so that you don't have to travel more than 10 miles. Okay, yeah. Okay. Can I, can I not, can I not pay you over the phone? Sorry? Can I not make a payment over the phone? Now, just, uh, now these days a lot of scams are going around in the United Kingdom. And things are happening really bad, so no payments can be done over the phone, whatever it is or however there's, there's, it is. There's a lot of scams going on in the United Kingdom, you said? That's correct. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh -huh. Only scam around here is this idiot. Okay, let me see what I can do for you. Okay. He's got the audacity, right, to say there's a lot of scams going on, so be careful. What? A bunch of comedians. Guys, leave your comments, right? If you get experience this kind of thing, right? I love winding these people up. And even better, putting them on camera and so we can hear their voice. If you and I carry on sharing their voices, it would be better because as soon as you hear, hello, my name is Alexander Davidson, you'll think, yep, I've seen this already before. Goodbye. I'm going to take him off mute now. Hello. Hi. Now, thank you for being on the line. Now, I just had a word with my senior department. Now, as for that, those people who do not have a tax office nearby can get a different kind of a bond from a nearby place. Now, the bond, as I told you, is like a payment card or a cash card. Now, what you can do is that uh, you can get a type of a payment card from somewhere local. Now, this is got, like, this, uh, this is just two payment cards that work just like the bond. You can load your money onto it. And with the help of that, you can make an appeal to the court and get your warrant stopped, okay? Okay, yeah, so I can get that locally? Uh, this card, now, this card's a very uh, famous card. It comes from a very reputed brand, so you may have heard of them before. So have you heard of the card called the Google Play card? The Google Play card? Uh-huh. Yes, I've heard of this, yes. Not a okay. Okay, have you ever used it? I've I've never used it. No. What do What do I do? I do, I get that and put the money on there and then give that code to you. Do you have patience? Sorry. Do you have patience? Do I have patience? Mm -hmm. No, I'm in trouble at the moment, so I don't have any patience. <clears throat> you have to. No, we don't have, have to patience. Have a patience. Can't come to. Right, Alexander, Ale Alexander, you. Alexander Davids Davidson, shut up. Right, I've had enough of my, my, my patience and now run out with you. You're now famous on YouTube, okay? Because of your oh. idiotic scam. Now you wasted your time and you wasted my okay, time. Sir, with your stupid of, conversation, be channel? quiet. What's the name of your channel? What's I, the name of your channel? Go and check it out. It's called Bearded Bros, right? And, right, you, you heard it. It's called Bearded Bros. I'm going to put it on my ear now. Well, actually, no, I'm going to leave it on speaker so the viewers can hear you as well, right? You should be ashamed of yourself trying to scam people like this, right? My I-8 and my address and go and put it on a Google Play card. I'm a sheriff. You must think we must be all stupid just like you, right? Why are you making stupid noises for? All of a sudden, you become from a professional HMRC. By the way, right, I can tell by your accent and what you're saying, that you are nothing to do with HMRC at all, right? Because you sound like a very uneducated idiot, to be quite frank. Uh, okay. okay. So did you hear that? Okay. Yeah? Uh, now, stop wasting you. my time. Stop wasting your own time. Get the hell off my phone. And you guys, carry on watching The Bearded Bros.